thing about toxic friends is that they're hard to spot when you're not looking for them. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Puddles, and I'm going to try my best to keep this video brief, as I have had many toxic friends over the years, but today I just want to focus on one, Arya. I had met Arya through one of my other friends in high school, and through that connection, we both learned that we lived relatively close to one another. And I'm going to be honest, she did not start out with all of these red flags. She certainly didn't jump into song about how she bad she was, like a Disney villain. Her behavior took a turn when I was the first one in my friend group to have a license and a car. This friendship was mainly carpooling to school. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, but soon developed into a routine. 6am, drive to get Aria, wait in the car parking lot until 8. I was fine with this. I thought helping out a friend was no big deal. I was, however, not getting any gas money from her. This routine went from manageable to overwhelming when Arya told me she actually wakes up at 3am and not 6. And that she doesn't eat breakfast either. This did not sit well with me. So it was a subtle hint and one that I took. She asked if I could pick her up at 3am so she didn't have to wait as long even though I was not a morning person. I agreed. Simply on the basis that I'm already picking her up at 6, what's 3 hours earlier? And thus began the new routine of picking her up at 3 a.m. or 3.30. She would get mad if I was late, and also driving her to Tim Hortons where I would buy her coffee and breakfast. It is at Tim Hortons where she gave me another subtle hint. She was broke and therefore could not buy what she actually wanted for breakfast. She wanted the most expensive thing for breakfast, and she couldn't pay for it. So I ended up paying for her breakfast regularly, with the promise that she would pay me back. Same promise she gave for her gas money. But since she said she was broke and had no money, I declined her offer of payment at first. I am fully admitting I did decline her initial offers to pay me. Keyword being initial. This will come into play later. At school, Arya introduced me to her other friends, and she slowly made it so I could only hang out with her by being mean whenever I wanted to hang out with my own friends, and it became very clear in hindsight that what I wanted did not matter. All that mattered was what she wanted. Many of my friendships were genuinely weakened because she strictly wanted me to hang out with her at school. And with her friends, we would have parties at either her friend's house, or at my cabin, or my farmhouse. The parties were mainly at my places, and it's at these parties where the whole vibe was off. Aria would be very possessive of me more than she was at school. Not only keeping me close to her, she was also very grabby and touchy. Highly inappropriate. She didn't like me sitting near anyone else and would become very irritated when I would have to leave. This also happened at school if I talked to anyone she didn't already approve of, she would be upset. I.e. Spooky. She was very jealous that Spooky is and forever will be my best friend. But since I was spending so much time with Arya, I became more dependent on her validation and friendship. Basically, I didn't want her to be mad, so I only did things that would make her happy, i.e. only hanging out with her and her friends. The new 3am routine also included driving Arya home from school, but she would always be mad when I actually did drop her off at her house, instead of driving around. She would vent a lot of dark stuff to me. There was never any good conversations, and whenever I tried to shift a conversation to something happy, to brighten the mood, talk about anything else, it wasn't met with the same energy I was- I was putting in way more energy than I was getting from her, basically. But it wasn't just Arya who I was driving around either, it was her whole friend group too, and I was never given gas money after my initial decline. I did start asking for gas money, but it just took forever for her to cough it up because she would lie and give excuses. You know how she said she was broke earlier? Yeah, well, it turns out she was fine money-wise. She would buy something new almost every week. And when I did ask for gas money, she would get very angry and quiet and not speak to me for an entire day at school. I do good things get rewarded. I do bad things I get punished. I didn't realize this yet. She was a giant red flag when I think back on it. I just didn't see it because I thought I had found another good friend. With the new 3am routine, I was becoming more and more sleep deprived and my grades were slipping more than usual. I would doze off in class and if you're wondering why I didn't tell Arya why the 3am routine wasn't working for me, here's why. One time during winter, I <laughs> there was a big storm and the roads were covered in snow. And I woke up at 3am in a panic because I had to pick Arya up. So I get dressed and start driving, and I ended up in the ditch. So when I texted Arya I couldn't pick her up for that day, 
she was irritated, decided to be passive-aggressive, and was mad at me for the whole school day. You know, despite me wrecking my car. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. It took a long while, probably a year or more, but I finally hit my breaking point and confronted Arya about her behavior and she blew up in my face and the friendship was disbanded in a very messy manner. It hurt for a long while because I had ruined all my other friendships to make this one possessive friend happy, so rekindling my friendships was rough. Plus the additional bonus of Arya trying to undermine my friendship with Spooky in the aftermath, she and her friends spread lies about me. They were blowing up my phone with message after message of hate, and then blocked me. So bonus points for them because my last week of school was miserable. So here's the truth, I didn't know I was being manipulated and taken advantage of for the entirety of this friendship. Not until I hit a wall becoming increasingly frustrated by not getting gas money, until I was practically broke. And to save time, I cut out the entire summer that I hung out with her. Because the summer was also the time when I was uh, working at the Haunted Rec Center. But anyway, I'm so glad I am no longer friends with her and I don't have to deal with her and her problems and now I can actually sleep in. But sometimes I will stay up and remember what an awful time it was being her friend, and I mean friends. As platonic as possible, I do not know what her deal was, being all touchy, but we were just platonically friends. And I hope the takeaway from this video is to keep an eye out, red flags can start off small, and over time become too large to ignore, it's better to cut someone off before they have dug their claws into you. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like! And if you've had a similar experience to this, feel free to comment on it. Also, since I have a bucket full of toxic friends slash relationship stories, I could make more videos on my experiences. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And if you want, you can subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next one.